tough loss in overtime to BYU guys, and, and it always is, you want to go look at the tape and, and, and see what happened against BYU. Where were some areas that you guys weren't happy? Uh, definitely like the two sacks. Um, you know, we want to give up no sacks and no pressures. Um, you know, miscommunication, playing away, the rookie quarterback, and uh, definitely more running yards doesn't help, doesn't hurt. With with the communication and all that kind of stuff, football seasons are is a constant learning process. And I mean, was it anything unusual that you guys had issues with in this first game that maybe football teams have the first three games every year? Mm, I wouldn't say anything unusual. Um, just really on our part, just executing more consistently. The communication part. Where where were some areas that where that was missing? And what, what were the end results? Um, I would say really just being in BYU, just the 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 loudness of the stadium itself, and you know them coming out in a new defense. It's hard to make those transitions on the go, but we're getting better at it. Are you guys as physical as you wanted to be Saturday? Was that, or do you think you'd like to have been a little more physical in that game? Uh, I think we're, you know, we're very physical, uh, especially with BYU. You know, you got to give credit uh, to that front. We knew they were going to come in. We knew they were going to play, uh, you know, tough. Um, but I think, you know, we're, you know, we're, uh, we're, you know, happy with the way we played. Um, you know, we think we played very physical against them. Uh, you know, definitely they made some plays, and we made some plays. This is how football goes. Uh, so I think, you know, at the end of the day, we were, you know, we were good with how we played. What are the challenges you guys are going to face with Utah's defensive line? Uh, I think I think same thing. Uh, you know the you know the big thick guys. Uh, they like to play down the middle of you. Um, but, you know with their front, we play them. Uh, we basically play our front every day against our defense. Except uh, you know against guys like Jake Tefele and Marlin. Uh, you know you got to give credit to those guys too. You know those guys are dogs. Some of the best guys we're ever going to go up against. Uh, so I think you know similar to BYU, uh, really thick guys. Um, you know just like I said, we play against that every day. Uh, so it's going to be a good challenge. You know we're excited for it. What did you guys learn from the amount of rush three drop eight BYU did so that maybe you'll be a little better prepared for that later on in the year? Uh, I think, you know, you're definitely going to have to adjust. Uh, you know, not every team is going to play you the same. Uh, so, you know, it was a good learning experience, uh, you know, knowing that sometimes, you know, you know, people call this offense the air raid. Uh, you know, like I emphasized before, uh, you know, you're also going to have to run the ball. So definitely running the ball more. Uh, that was definitely a change for the first two games. Uh, you know, we're used to it, we've seen it, and we'll be ready for the next opponent that does that. Are you happy with this? I'm not happy, I'm guessing you're not, but in the overtime, they kind of put the game in your hands with, with two runs to start, you know, when you got the ball. What happened or didn't happen now on the two runs? Uh, BYU's DB made a fantastic play on a tip ball that flew 10 yards behind our receiver. You know, that's, that's just a great play. Well, I'm talking about, let's say the two runs by by. The two runs by by? Yeah. Uh, you know, we, you know, you get four plays to get a first down, and I think we're on track to get the first. And um, but yeah, credit to BYU. I think uh, I think in BYU, you know, like in the red zone, uh, when you drop eight, you know, uh, pockets start to get a little bit tighter uh, for the QB. So we definitely knew we we're gonna have to run the ball. Uh, you know, we, you know, we were, uh, we knew that going in uh, to overtime. And uh, you know we think we executed it well, and then just like uh, Austin said, you know they made one more play than us, and you know credit to that uh, DB, uh, that DB that made the play.